Ooh, uh, welcome to the lighter side of the dark side. Go ahead. It's a dark <laughs> mark show. Yes, that we we have a special <laughs> night tonight. It is rockabilly night. Although it's a dark mark show, I guess it's psychobilly night. I'm not really sure, <laughs> but we have some great guests here. We have the coffin draggers. We can call it gothabilly. Gothabilly, whatever you want to do, <laughs> whatever you want to do. We got Gator Rick Murder here, and uh, and your new guitar player whose name escapes me. Vincent William Malouf. Vincent. Vincent William Malouf. Uh, yes. yes. Uh, you call him Vincent Priceless, don't you? Sometimes. Yes, I do. Vincent Priceless is here. And uh, also the uh, founder of meandmyhatfriends.co, among other things, pin up beautiful, uh, we, we, a lot of stuff to talk about with this with this woman, Kasia. Just Kasha is fine. One name is good. One name well, is good. Well, how do you pronounce the last name? Uh, it's Zarek. If, you're really, if Zarek. you really want to get into it, it could be Shadek. But, yeah, in that case, I might have to give my full name, right. which is super Polish. Oh, you're Polish? I'm Polish. Oh, okay. You, you, you ever heard about the uh, Polish lesbian? Uh, no, tell me. She only fucks guys. Anyway, so <laughs> we're here on the lighter side of the dark side. I got a few uh, a few announcements to make. Uh, first off, uh, before we get, because this is going to be a great show. Uh, yes. We've got two sponsors. We have Audible.com is our sponsor. Audible.com. Go to audibletrial.com backslash Dark Mark show. Uh, Vincent Price is looking at me very oddly. You you go on the road. Audiobooks. Listen to audiobooks on the road. It's great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You like comedy albums? They got comedy albums from everybody. Louis C.K., George Carlin, Kevin Hart. Mm -hmm. They've got... You, know, you guys are into weird raves here. <laughs> if, I, if I put in Coffin <laughs> on Audible.com, they've got everything on Audible.com. Actually, the easiest way to go to Audible.com... Here we go. A Coffin for Dimitros, The Coffin Dancer, A Rage in Harlan, A Grave Diver and Cough of the Ed novel. They've got all sorts of coffin stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, you, if you go to, uh, if you go to uh, darkmarkshow.com, click on the Audible button right next to my smiling face. Here you go. Coffins of Vampire Archives, 99 Coffins and a Bitch Ain't One. No, 99 Coffins, <laughs> A Historical Vampire Tale. Just look, just go to go to Dark Mark Show. Click on the Audible button. Go right to Audible. If you got an Amazon account, you can just sign on to Amazon. Thirty day free trial. You get one free book. You can get Stephen King's sequel to The Shining, Doctor Sleep. You can get anything you want. If you cancel within thirty days, no problem. You keep the audio book. It's still on your tablets, on your computer, and you can access it. So that's great. We're right, also cool. brought to you by DammitTees.com. You guys familiar with DammitTees.com? No, but I want to be. You should because DammitTees has got the greatest selection of horror, punk, counterculture shirts. They got cramp shirts. They got misfit shirts. They've got uh, Plan 9 from Outer Space shirts. Now Do they, they have, have Coffin Dragger shirts? You know, we'll, we'll, we'll try to hook something up because they're going to have some... today, they will. We're, mm -hmm. we're going to mm -hmm. have some Dark Mark show shirts. They actually have Society One shirts, and we're going to have Matt and Sin from Society One oh, cool. in a few weeks. But uh, the, if you go to damatees.com, you get 10% off every order if you say you heard it on the Dark Mark show. But uh, they have a, a shirt, a misfit shirt, that it's not... It, it's Star Wars... It's got Boba Fett and, and, and Devil Lock. It says Miss Fetz. You got to get that shirt, and uh, and also and so <laughs> he's laughing Sorry. already. And also they got great shirts. I want it. Also they have go to damatees.com. You get ten percent off. But uh, it, it also if you uh, uh, I'm also doing my one man show. I laughed so hard I cried. At the uh, this it, the last week went great. We did the show on Friday the thirteenth. Friday the thirteenth. Me doing comedy. How do you think it went? Went great. Great. It was a fantastic show. We're doing it again this Saturday if you're in Los Angeles at the Shepherd Theater at the Complex, right next to the Dragonfly, 6476 Santa Monica Boulevard. If you go to hollywoodfringe.org, because it's part of the Hollywood Fringe Festival, put in the coupon code GOTH, five buck, five buck tickets, well worth it. And the, the crowd was, it's weird because you're in a theater, you can't see anybody, but the laughter was just coming at me in waves. It was so great. Uh, so we got one more show this Saturday, the 21st, and next Friday, the 27th, both at nine o'clock. So, uh, so that's uh, those are my those are my uh, announcements. Uh, apparently, uh, uh, some of the hot friends are texting Kasha, so I will go by right here to the coffin draggers. Uh, Kasha, but I, I, um, we, I'm I, Instagramming about us. Please Look. do, please do. I'm uh, telling everyone to watch us because we're awesome. Gator mm -hmm. McMurder, yes, Gator McMurder, which is maybe I mean Prince of Prices is good, but Gator <laughs> McMurder. And by the way, if your friend, if if the other member of Coffin yeah, Dress got stuck he? downstairs, yeah. check your texts because he might be stuck downstairs. If he is, we can have someone to go get him because uh, the the security guard leaves at eight, so he might be locked out. Okay, let me see. What, oh uh, yes, I have a text. For him. Yes, so uh, I'm locked out. Uh, can we, uh, now I'm in, it? but the elevator doesn't go up. Uh oh. Spinal see, tap see moment. See what you did. See what you did. Hold on. Are we all going to blow up? 
No, 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 okay. no, no, no. I'm, I'm sure. No, I'm, I'm sure. So, okay. Blow what? It's, it, it's, it's, ha it's happened. Yes, right there. It's happened before. They're, they're getting some toilet paper or oh, whatever oh. they have. Napkins. Oh. Come on in, have a seat. Oh. It's bothered. Oh, we Why do you have some... ketchup on your mouth? I like ketchup. <laughs> Is that ketchup or blood? You're part of the coffee dragons. Have a seat. Oh, you get on the RE20 side of the table. Thank you. Yes, I'm. Well, we'll, see, these are all SM7s on this side. Uh, what is that? Oh, what, oh, what, see, we're, what, what is, we're what audio. Does that mean? Yeah, SM. Tell me more. Yeah, SM. We're audio, audio geeks. SM mics. Oh, okay. We both have recording studios, so. Hey, I got stuck in the freaking. You want to get you want to get the mic way closer to you because I can't hear the fucking word you're saying. There's got so there you go. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this, uh, this, by, this sure young man, SM7. by the way, is, is Robert Robert Frank. Hey. And I'm on the Coffin Draggers website. Let me tell you, because I don't know, Kasha, if you're familiar with the Coffin Draggers. I actually looked them up. Yes. <laughs> uh, Gayer McMurder is a funeral director, mortician, undertaker, business owner, <laughs> end, of life, end of life specialist, dark, moody, older, refined gentleman. It says that still? Yeah. I didn't know it still said that. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, you might want to update your... I don't know. Yeah, refined <laughs> is, a, is quite a stretch. I've so, seen these guys. Dark? Okay, so <laughs> let, let's, let's start. When did the Coffin Draggers... And lovely. When did the <laughs> Coffin Draggers start? In about 1970. Really? <laughs> actually, actually, the name goes way back. When I was a little kid, I w I'm old. I'm yeah, we, we, we noticed, okay. but go ahead. It's all uh, right. Okay, I was born in 66. When I was a few years old, um, my family and I were in, um, oh, God. What so he's name? probably senile. He doesn't, he yeah, doesn't remember. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was Montgomery Wards, where I used to go by my 45. Wow. You are yes. old. That's vinyl. Montgomery Wards. She doesn't even know what that is. I, I actually do. Yes. No. But you didn't wow. know who, you didn't know who Isaac from the Love Boat is. Yeah. He's coming on the yeah, night yeah. You I didn't know who Isaac experience. Do you know they have love, bo stories. love Boat toys? Like seven action figures the same size and you know, as Star Wars. And you know, and and you, and you know who the Love Boat, cho love boat toys are? People in their 30s and 40s, like us. True, yeah. So we're playing with Love Boat toys. <laughs> well, There's no little kid that's like, I want an Isaac doll. It's all people in their 30s and 40s. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I want to play with Kasha myself, Christmas, but I there's wanted... guys that want to play with dolls. I don't play nicely, yeah. so watch what you say. I really want to play that's... with you now. Yeah, you but just let me, let me get the story. I want the Vicky doll from the Love Boat series. Oh. Okay. Is it, you like Vicky? <laughs> Captain Stubing, I don't know. Was was that the daughter? Or was that <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, that okay. was the daughter. Captain Stabbin? Oh wait, that's a whole other oh, thing. That's yeah, a different show. <laughs> yeah. By, uh, are we getting some toilet paper for the uh, console, or what's going on here? What happened to the console? I spilled. I spilled some. I spilled some wet from my oh, coffee dragon. Oh, you spilled something. <laughs> I spilled yeah, a little. I spilled a little something. Oh. So, mm -hmm. so coffee so, dragons go so back. So coffee dragons go back. <laughs> okay, okay not quite to 1970, but you guys go back. I got to tell that story since I started it. I went upstairs to the 45 section and I bought the Monster Mash by Bobby Boris Pickett. Right. And there's they did that. A mash. Yeah. They did and there's a that one that says, says the coffin draggers were about to arrive with their vocal group, the Crypt Kicker Five. Right. Ever since I was a little kid, I wanted a band called the Coffin Draggers. Not the Crypt Keeper Five or N the Crypt. No, for some I wanted Coffin Draggers. Coffin Draggers. I think I, the Crypt Keeper Five was a hip hop group in the late 70s. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I'm surprised there isn't a Crypt Keeper 5. Any, well, actually, there is. Grandmaster but, Flash and the Crypt, Crypt Keeper, Keeper 5. five. But, yeah. but when I was a little kid, I used to I used to draw pictures of hearses and coffins and different things like Purses. that. Purses. 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 Uh, hearse. uh, yeah. Yeah. Apparently, yeah, uh, apparently, we got the uh, rockabilly uh, Abbott and Jake. Costello here on the, on the show. <laughs> oh, you haven't heard anything yet. I'm sure I haven't. <laughs> Anyhow, well, that, that was the basis of the name. And then... Years, what year was it when we actually started playing? So uh, it was band? about 2003. Right. No, it was earlier than that. 2002, like yeah, I said. Yeah, that's when the records I was 10. Mm. This kid was 10. Uh, 2002. How old were you in 2002, uh, Kasha? A year oh, old. Oh, 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 A year old. Oh, so, I was an embryo. Oh, so you lie, she lies about her Is age. Is that hot? You're, you're hot. Don't worry about it. That, you're hot regardless. Do you like thinking about me as an embryo? As an embryo? Were you naked? Yeah, of course I was well, naked. Okay, yeah. Oh. Well, hey. I, so I actually, like actually you, you see, you see Mindy mopping up here. What do you think? But um, that's good, sexy. Yeah, so yeah. Clever use so, so, of yeah. the tissue Come wiping on, up row. fluids. I'm trying, I'm trying to, I'm trying to have a, a real conversation here. But it's I not like going to happen. This is great, though. I love not it. Not with me here. Sorry. Not with you here. So, do you ever dress up like a nun? Well, here's the me? thing. Yeah. Uh, I think I I wore a latex nun outfit once for some shoot. Oh uh, no, no no, it was actually a latex French maid. Well, sorry right. guys. I was a nun this past, last yeah, Halloween. Like mm. Which is interesting because I almost I'll have none I, of I, I almost posted the picture. Yeah. And, oh, I'm sorry. Let me <laughs> interrupt that. None joke. of the above. Yeah. <laughs> what the priest? Yeah. What the priest? Uh, uh, sorry, you're yeah, the comedian. Yeah. What are we doing? I was just the priest. I did a bad bad Polish joke, but so you this is a Kasha. Just Kosh is cool. It's from like share, from me, you know? me and my hot friends dot com. Now, do you get shit for the CO. name? Co. Co. Not dot com because there's, there's another me and my friend hot friends. Yes, com. he lives in Florida. I think he's a tweaker, and he won't give me the name as for as much money as I've offered him. 
something something is well, very wait, wrong. Does he really we have know friends? People. Um, no, he doesn't. He actually doesn't even have any advertisements on his site, which is the really ridiculous part about it. So it's like me. Hey, you know what his name is? His name is Mark. Is it you? It's yeah, is yeah, it you? yeah. It's me. No, it's I not live because in, you I don't live in, in Miami. I do in have a crab lot. Of, shack. I do have no, not yet. Do you have hot I, friends? Huh? Do you have hot friends? I do have hot friends. Okay, tell but me. He about does. Him. I've seen him. Hell oh, yeah. yeah. Actually, Josie Cat, my hot friend, was normally yeah, called. She? She's getting her class to I'm yoga life teacher. From my yoga hot teacher. Oh. Te- oh, that's hot. Teaching license, so she. Uh, she's flexible. She's very flexible. We love Josie. Josie. Josie Cat. Yes. Last week she she got set on fire, so I think she's still recovering. But she is hot. Yeah, so, <laughs> and, uh, but, Wait, but, you can't just say that and not explain much. what and happened. And she's smoking. No, no, watched the show last week. It's in the archives. But we had a friend, oh. our friend Orpheus Black, the Dom. He has a, he, he, he takes torches and does fire play with You go to AVN Awards. You've seen yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, I went. Yeah. Okay. So he did a little fire play on, on Josie Cat and also choked uh, uh, AVN nominee Who? Venus Lux. Oh, okay. Right well, on, right on. Before so he didn't choke no, I was going to say, uh, it's a beautiful dress that... Uh, that uh, Kasha's wearing. But Kasha told well, me she you. had a wardrobe malfunction earlier in the evening. <laughs> Story of I my think, life. I my life Ka- is a series of them. Kafa Dragons would be quite interested. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, well, I have this problem, and it's called Huge Tits. That's um, not a problem. I have that problem, too, because I'm 42. We all... <laughs> yeah. It's, it's called every time I wear a dress, I have to replace it because my zipper, my zipper does not like my tits as much as everyone else seems to, so... And those hate, are natural. I hate when that they happens. They are. I'm all real. I can tell. I can tell. Trust How? me. How? Oh, this is a trained eye. Trust me on this. I know. Wow, that's I know. Tits, good. I know tits when I see them. they hang. He goes they to Bar Sinister. Right. He knows the difference. Oh, no, bar that, Sinister. Not don't get bar me started. Sinister. No, 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 no. Well, re- well, get started. Let's hear it. <laughs> I don't go to Bar Sinister as much as you think, but uh, go ahead. I, I hope not. No. I went there. I went there once, and it was it was very strange. It was not. It, uh, the, I, I think I was hit on by like a sixty-five-year-old man in a like a really cheap Halloween club. Gator, how could you? Yeah, <laughs> Oh, that that's wasn't. where I recognized you from. Right. No, no, but you were, you were up, wait, 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 I think I, I know who, you, who it is. Yeah, you had probably lipstick do. on? Uh, probably. I don't really yeah. remember. I was probably a little drunk. I mean, to get me to go to Bar Sinister, I'd have to be a little, you know, a little turned up or something. Right. So, so but, uh, Or something. I don't know what that no, is. I, I know. Yeah, I, I'm actually yeah. really boring. Are you really? I'm really boring now. No, no. Didn't used to be. Now really, uh, Now you're boring. You're now I'm night. boring. So, so what, hey. hap- what, what happened? <laughs> what, what happened to... I told you not to tell anyone. What happened? Great at blackmail. What I, t- I'm white, sorry. Yeah. What ha- what happened to turn you from not born to white born? male? Um, I became really focused on my career. Imagine that. Yes. And here you are in the Dark March show, so it's exactly. paying off. Exactly. Instead of smoking weed alone in my apartment and eating my second burrito of the day. Which uh, may account for the dress uh, malfunction. Uh, uh, no, uh, no, uh, no. She said eating my, it's, my mind went somewhere else. Tits. The tits, yeah. no, the tits are tits are wonderful. They're beautiful. They're natural. We'll uh, we'll we'll, we'll mean, Is that why she's sitting directly across from you? Obviously, that's it. that's absolutely why mm. she's sitting directly across mm-hmm. from me. Because I know I booked the coffin dragons first, and I've been to <laughs> coffin dragon shows many a time. Now that's... tell me the difference. Now this is rockabilly night on the Dark Mark show because you guys are here and you dress like a pinup, and we'll get to that in, in a second. What what? First off, how did you get into rockabilly? I mean, is that what you primarily listen to, or actually, you'd be you, surprised you, <laughs> what I primarily listen to. Did, did, did you did you go through metal or punk? Because most rockabilly bands I know, like they started out like kind of they were into metal or punk and sort of hit the cramps or the misfits or some other thing and sort of segued into more traditional stuff. No, I kind of went backwards. Um, I was raised by a Pentecostal preacher and raised on bluegrass that, music. That explains it. Yeah, I listened to country, old mm-hmm. old old gospel and bluegrass all my life. And in had ni- been for cotton, I was exactly. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was in, good. In 1981, a friend of mine in high school gave me a cassette tape. Yes, cassette tapes. What's that? <laughs> cassette uh, uh, tapes. Uh, Kasha, <laughs> Kasha <laughs> Vincent, a, 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 a cassette tape's about this big. I owned one. That's what it was we used Madonna. to. Uh, That's what we used to listen to. It had little. Sp- <laughs> uh-huh. you, you put it in the car, and then the car would always eat it up. Exactly. I saw one. And that's why you always what? had a pencil. Vincent, Vincent, Vincent so he has no idea. Right it, there, oh, but but it was a tape of two bands. Uh, the Blasters and the Stray Cats. Right. And I was just like, oh, wow, this is cool. It's kind of like what I grew up listening to, except it rocks a little so more. So you went through So through in 19, country, yeah. Yeah, 1981, I got into rockabilly when I was, I guess, 16, I think. Now, some people would classify you as a psychobilly band. Yeah. So please define to me, because I still am confused, the <laughs> difference between rockabilly and psychobilly. Well, basically, psychobilly is an offshoot of rockabilly. It's like harder like more edgy right and over the years it kept getting more and more edgy and kept getting more and more distorted and then band they started bands just started doing their own thing and getting really it became more punk yeah it became more punk, more hardcore punk with an upright bass basically but nowadays it's just kind of a 
loose term. Like, I don't even know how to describe psychobilly. We don't even like to call ourselves psychobilly or even rockabilly nowadays because... Well, you, you don't, that's you know, why we, I like your band. Do our own thing. I like, that's why I like your band. You, you, you're not strictly into one thing yeah. or another. I mean, it, there's the influence there, obviously. Yeah. You, you, play, you do Especially the, the, the stand-up bass. bass. Yeah, because that's hot. And I play. And I'm playing the same exact upright bass that I bought in 1985. It's never. It's never it broken. The first nothing. upright bass Actually, ever the, made. the neck broke off once. <laughs> <laughs> While you're during playing? a show? No, it was during a practice. But oh, okay. I, some practice. So, Luckily, well, what happens when you break a string during a show? I mean, that's, that's never done it. Never, never really? broke a string. I can't really yeah. hear anything. I don't... <laughs> well, I, apparently Robert Frank needs some attention. So, Robert, <laughs> are, you, oh, sorry. are you an original coffin dragger? I am. Gator and I, yes. Uh, it's an interesting story. Um, my brother-in-law wants to know if I have a hyd hydrogen peroxide at home. <laughs> um, there was a big psycho show in Santa Ana. <laughs> and... Um, there are like plenty of straight jackets and you know padded straight padded jackets mm -hmm. no um it was a big psychobilly show a lot of bands from europe came over and right. uh gator got involved with promoting it and putting it together and we slapped a band together real right. quick just right. for fun for fun to play the show and uh when they asked for promotion you know what's the name of your band gator said coffin draggers and it All from right. that day on now, do, now, do you play drums, right? I do. Okay, because that's what it says on the website. But um, <laughs> uh, do you do you play? Did you play a full kit, or do you like? Are you like the guy in the Stray Cats, who just does, do the snare? No, no. You know, um, so it's been a while since I've seen you guys. In the eight, when I was in the eighties, well, hopefully he'll be seeing us tomorrow. In the 80s. Yeah, tomorrow night they're doing a show at the CIA North Hollywood. Have you ever been to the CIA North Hollywood? I know you, f you fear the valley. That's my awesome. Uh, uh, yeah. I do. Yeah, I'm, I'm scared of the valley. If you, if you're, no, no. If you're going to go to the valley, this is the one place to go. It's the coolest. It's the craziest club you've ever been to. It's like mm -hmm. a... It's like a circus. A club in the valley. You're, you're seriously terrifying me no, right no, now. No, no, no. It's, it looks, it's shaped like a circus sideshow. They have severed heads, shrunken what, arms what on place? display. It's called the California Institute, Institute of Abnormal Arts. It's not me? even really real? a club, cool. right? It's not a club. It's a museum and a performance venue. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, it's a live cool bands spot. and live bands okay. and, and crazy stuff. No, it's it's okay. it's great. Right? Do I find girls that look like me there? Well, tomorrow night you will because they may not be alive. Because yeah. yeah. last time I saw these guys, because I gotta be honest, when I see you guys, the few the couple times I've seen you, I've gone for the girls because I love that rockabilly look. Yeah. I love that pin up look, babes. <laughs> that's what I'm going for. I mean, it, it, that that's a good byproduct of the coffin draggers. I would think. Yeah, it must be before I joined. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the Betty Page thing came back, and you guys were right in the Let's thick of it, yeah. right? My phone's just cut off. Oh gosh! Oh, geez. Gator's my interview is died. done, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway. My mic died. That was no, no. Gator. Your mic's still on. You're on. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I, I don't you. know. I don't hear me. Uh, uh, Mindy, I hear Mindy, you. Mindy, uh, I'm not sure what's going on with uh, Gator's mic. But anyway, you were saying so. Uh, uh, so uh, the interesting thing is, um, I'm in waiting the, for that. Yeah. In the '80s, I was into. Uh, like every teenage guy in Southern California, punk rock and headphones. punk rock and metal. Right. Um, you know, I was into like a lot of thrash right. drummers, Dave from Slayer, and oh, so the real hardcore, yeah, yeah. And uh, I really yeah, liked. Uh, Mindy likes that. That kind of stuff. Mindy's a drummer, so she. So you know, when I heard Rain and Blood from go. Slayer, what and happened? I was heavily into right. TSOL's Dance with Me. Right. I, those two drummers at the time, I very, wanted to play like that. Very busy drums. Very freaking heavy. You know, very frantic, um, just you know, like you're on some kind of controlled substance. But um, and and, that, and that's what you bring to the coffin draggers. So that's what I bring to coffin draggers. So when people come to see us, they think psychobilly or rockabilly, and then when they see us play, they're just like, "Holy crap!" Right? Because it's real heavy. It is heavy. Uh, matter that. of fact, I think and Vincent Price is. Well, we're going to get to you because you're the new member, and you uh, we got We got to hear your story. He makes it heavier. Yeah, no, he, uh -huh. he does. Actually, we're calling me fat. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's calorically chilling. <laughs> yeah, I'm, call, I'm calling you fat. So, uh, hold but on. P H A T. Hold on, hold on one second. Yeah. Uh, acidic, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, acidic fat. Plus, you're dope. I, I, uh, I think we're gonna we're gonna do a little dancing here, Kasha and I. We're, we're gonna play some. I was gonna say, why did you take that camera off of me? No, no, we'll put it back on you. Don't <laughs> worry about Jeez. it. The camera will always be on you, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna <laughs> play some coffin draggers. Oh, uh, there's a this camera is, under the table, you know. Oh, God, yeah. I, I would believe it. Yep. <laughs> I wondered what I was, was doing here. Is not quite that scary, <laughs> but uh, anyway, so we're going to we'll play some coffee. This is, uh, this is uh, I'm not sure which track this is, but uh, it'll be playing right now. So let's, uh, let's, let's give it a listen. Ah, that's called I Really Need You.
It's a taste of coffin draggers. Psycho, yes. metal. Psycho metal. That's the new coffin Rock draggers with Vincent. That's the new coffin draggers. So Vincent, uh, yeah. Vincent, I was I was gonna get to you, but we, we have like uh, except for you. I mean, you're like the only one in this room that's not an attention whore. You realize that? Yeah. Because everybody's like, I want to talk. Okay. Did I ever tell you about the time everyone when I never mind? Kasha, <laughs> Kasha, you are beautiful and pale. Yes. I like pale women. Yes. That's my whole same thing. here. Me too. But you weren't always. Yeah, I was. No, I've seen pictures of you. She wasn't always beautiful? She was always beautiful. Okay. Oh, uh, no, actually, need... I wasn't always beautiful. She was always, no, 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 Michael Jackson. I had real extreme gossip phases. <laughs> no, no, well, well, sure. well, here's the thing. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you, and I'm sure you have this answer that every beautiful woman has. Well, when I was in, no. high, when I was in high school, nobody <laughs> liked me. Or when I was in junior high, nobody liked me. I was ugly, and everybody hated me. Are you reading my bio? <laughs> well, nobody liked no, me I believe it because you. I was confident. Okay. And I wasn't really that attractive at all. I was dorky, and I had bright orange hair. I looked like a lion. I wore it in a ponytail. Now you're a lion. I had pink braces and crappy glasses. So, yeah, no one liked me because mm, I walked out I and I was glasses. like, I'm I love braces. shit, mm-hmm. and they didn't like that. So, I know, yeah, my I mind is... in the bathroom. Here, can you wear that? There you go, coffin draggers. Yes, I think I can. That's hot. I definitely will. Whew. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. We need a picture of that. Uh-oh, yeah, so... But anyway, so what I was going to ask you before, uh, before everybody started jumping in, Sorry. me and, uh, <laughs> me and my <laughs> proud friends. Co. Do people give you shit for that? Because it does sound a little conceited. I don't care. No, I'm just the saying. I, I my care. question was: no, does, actually, does anybody? I, I didn't say I thought it was conceited. No. Um, no. The only ask thing, me and my hot friends. You know. Yeah. Who cares? I have hot friends. They look at. I mean, they might think that, but then they look at the page and look at my friends. Man, they're all gorgeous. I got it. I got hot. So. Get them air conditioning. No, I, I, I got. No, I, I understand. No, there's, there's no, air, there's no air conditioning here. No, because I was looking at your hot friends. And, uh, honestly, cool you're the hottest. Person. Shoot. Oh no. I, Absolutely. All of my bang. friends are banging. I'm not saying they're Just, not. I'm not saying they're not banging, as the kids say. But yeah, I'm looking at a picture that right means now. There's, different a, to me. there's a blonde girl uh, <laughs> eating a hamburger. Not that. Yeah, not as hot yeah. as you are. Hey, no, she's very gorgeous. hot. Uh, they're gorgeous. I'm not she's saying gorgeous. she's not. She's, she's actually but what kind of model. hamburger is it? Just not your type. She's <laughs> not my, my type. type. Though. I I'll think bet she's she is. Great. So when you say she's your type now, uh, is that your thing? Everything's my thing. Really? Are you men, women? I was talking about the hamburger. Oh, yeah. the hamburger. Yeah, that's that's awesome. Awesome. <laughs> guys in makeup. I mean, what is your, what is your thing? No, no. No? Are you no. craving five but guys? I'm down. Oh, why'd you say that's that? Down. So anyway, so uh, let me tell you about Kasha too. She was a, uh, she was in a, the the WB series. Uh, it was Downers Grove. Is am I, am I pronouncing Back that in the day, yeah, we were actually the Downers first. Downers Grove. Yeah, I know, right? First web series for the WB.com, and um, almost made it to actual TV. But uh, well, you yeah. know how like yeah. all the TV yeah. shows are on Netflix, and Amazon.com. Mm-hmm. Now we were one this of was the, the first, pioneer. first ones. We actually we were supposed to premiere with Children's Hospital, um, Rob Corddry's show, and. They ended up taking their show to actual TV into oh. your homes instead of ours, which was total bummer, obviously, because then I probably wouldn't even be sitting here. How from dare here they? I'm oh. totally Ooh. kidding. I'm still here. Oh, I yeah, love she's... you, Mark. I liked you the second I saw you and saw that you had a butt on your tie because I like butts. And she so. cannot lie. Yeah, and I it happens to be that. Betty, who I also like. Yes, so. no, I do have a Betty Pace tie. Now, being a photographer and model yourself, I'm uh, not a model. Well, you are. I mean, you, no. take, you take pictures. Yeah, but that doesn't mean I'm a model. I'm just a pinup girl. And Okay, you're a pinup girl and you're Sometimes a photographer. Sometimes I take pictures of myself because I'm there. And, right, well, trust me, if I look know, like you, I, I take like tons of pictures of myself. Know. But uh, in all stages of dress, I'll but bet you do. 
So, okay. Like once in a while, you know, I let other people people do it, but it's just because of how I dress and and. And by you know, the way, what are you doing fun. next next Wednesday? Uh, I, I might I might bust out the Polaroid, but uh, <laughs> we'll do a retro. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, retro anything. Let's do it. No, but uh, I was gonna, what, what I was going to ask. Yeah, <laughs> what do you, what Polaroid do you know? was a camera I'm, I'm back retro. in the day. <laughs> What's a camera? It was, it was a camera. Yeah, one of it, it wasn't. A, it wasn't a phone. Yeah. It, was, it wasn't a phone. It was actually a camera and then shot. Uh, anyway. There was oh, a little man an inside with a chisel uh, and a rock. It wasn't an app. No. Did your Instagram things with it? Do you have one? No, but I was going to say. I was going to say. No, I love Instagram. You can. Yeah. You can Instagram from a Polaroid camera. Yeah. Dude, I totally hit the Instagram <laughs> in the parking lot. All right, I'm 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 in, I'm in another weird vortex. But uh, no, what I was going to ask you, uh, as as a photographer, as somebody who assesses beauty, what is it about the Betty Page rockabilly look that? Because uh, I, I I've just been attracted to that look. I love it. You go to Coffin Dragons show, you can't even. You, I don't even watch the band. I hear the bangs. music, but there's so many bangs. girls running around. Go. Bangs. Yeah. I'm going. Because I well, what is it? What, what, is, what, what is it about that look? Because well, you used to have blonde hair, you used to not be so pale. Well, when I had blonde hair, I was just as pale. Really? You yeah. didn't look like it. Oh, yeah, no, for sure. I actually was a redhead. I'm a redhead naturally, and that's okay. the only place that you might have seen uh, me. Explains it. Not so pale, but I mean, I honestly have been this color pretty much my whole life. Okay. I'm, I'm this color. Um, but uh, what is it about the rockabilly look, the pinup look? I think that it's the reason that it's so hot, and I totally agree, is because it kind of goes back to a classic kind of beauty instead of, um, you know, a neon G-string or whatever is kind of the typical, you know, slutty hot. It goes back I to something different and curvy that and band. beautiful. <laughs> I just Would you guys agree? Because uh, first off, I mean, you are curvy. Yeah, you are absolutely. curvy. You are curvier than a lot of your hot friends. Yeah, but that's what I like. Yeah, I love it too. Well, most men do. I don't love why it when I'm why do you want to hold onto a stick? But, you know. You know? You've already got one. That's there you right. go. Exactly. I'm, I'm with you guys. Now, you guys, you guys, you guys agree with me? The rockabilly, the pinup look, a little curvier, like that, right? Yeah. yeah. Pale. I like bangs. girls. Something like, different. That's a priceless. You you, you weigh yeah. in on this. Yeah? Yeah. yeah you, you like girls? Things like that? Yeah. Vince yeah. Okay. Does, I do. Vince is a lesbian. Uh, Vince, 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 now, you have, a, you have a semi-famous father. Is that correct? I, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your father in process? Uh, Who's, your Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Because Gator told Who's me, and I, I forgot. Well, I don't know. I asked my mom, but she, no. Uh, <laughs> it happened. And, 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 yes. My dad is Evil Wilhelm. Evil Wilhelm. Yeah. And Evil Wilhelm is... Evil. A drummer. He's a drummer. Yeah, he was he was a drummer in like Radio Werewolf. See? Stuff. Very mm -hmm. impressive. Yes. So you're a second second generation musician, but you play guitar. Yeah. yeah, I play guitar. And what happened to the last guy, the guitar player? Uh you guys want to talk about that? Or are you just kinda like He's actually a very good friend of ours. Yeah. yeah. And he's uh moved on to you bigger and better him? things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He got a day job, right? <laughs> he yeah. Down. He got married, he's he got us. kids. No, that's him. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Oh, okay, I said screw Aww. this artist crap. I'm gonna get in a job. So when 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 did the break when did the break happen with the original Coffin Draggers lineup or that like Coffin that, Draggers lineup? What, four years ago, something like that. Yes, four, four years ago. Three, like four, three four years ago. ago. So apparently yeah. you you roamed the schoolyard so you found uh, Wilhelm's yeah. son. Mm -hmm. We waited no, for actually, him to graduate and <laughs> showed him some candy. Wilhelm, seriously, how uh, uh, Wilhelm Vincent? Yes. How, how old are you? Seriously, I, I'm 22. Okay. What? Yeah. <laughs> and how long seriously, have I known you? Um. Uh, did you hold him in, in your nine arms? Years. Nine, nine years, I'd say. You were nine years when I no, 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 I've I was known you nine years. I was thirteen. <laughs> okay. so because was, you realize, is that even I, legal? I don't know because you realize, you, and I'm not saying you're not a good-looking guy. I wouldn't know, but uh, you know, you look like seriously, you look like you're in, you're in ninth grade. I mean, you, you, I mean, it's yeah, he is. Uh, you should have seen me in ninth grade. Yeah, you look like a fetus then, like or what happened? Like embryo jokes. jokes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, it's nothing but fetus and embryo jokes tonight on the dark Woo! market. Yeah. But, but fetus, so, fetus, and embryo fe fetus or fetus? So, how long, so you've been playing guitar since you were, I'm sure, uh, twelve. Twelve. Okay. Yeah. So, did, I, I, were you a fan of Coffin Draggers before you joined I, the band? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, uh, I, I started just started playing guitar when I was twelve, and then when I was thirteen, I saw them play, and I was like, "Whoa, this is like so cool." Yeah, and, and were you into rockabilly before or no, psychobilly? I'm, or you, I still, I'm not, not even. I don't, know, I don't know anything about psychobilly or rockabilly. Right, you didn't give any of your Chuck Berry records or anything like that. Or? No, it's actually cooler that way because he brings his own influence. Right, and what is what are your influences? Um, I guess like the roots of metal, like '60s to '80s hard rock, like AC/DC, right. Cream, Zeppelin, old, Sabbath. Yeah, Deep Purple. Right, like old Metallica though too. Like yeah, right that. before before Inju and Justice is the cutoff point. Oh, and Justice is too much for me. That's really? okay. I can only do the so first three. Pop, Master, Master of Pop, Master of Pop is the last good one. Anything without Cliff is me. All right, that's right. Okay, all right. Well, well I think Cliff we're, we're, died, I think and we, so we did the music. 
Yeah. Vincent's uh, also an amazing I don't tell me how to explain who Metallica yeah. is to you. Uh, I've uh, heard of them once or twice. <laughs> yeah. But blues, We're too. Fine. I'm really yeah. into blues. He's an amazing yeah. blues guitar player. Oh, really? That's cool. I Thanks. think when Stevie Ray Vaughan passed, his spirit went into Vincent. <laughs> when Stevie Ray Vaughan passed, gas. <laughs> <laughs> it went well, that, into... uh, that's, uh, well, because you were born about the same time to see Ray Vaughan die, so it, it's What's entirely that? possible. That'd be pretty sweet. If you're, 20, if you're 22, well, I think uh, you were born 92. Yeah. So that's about the time he, he passed. Mm. Well, Dimebag Daryl died the month I started playing guitar. So he, so know. both Steve Ray Vaughan and Dimebag Daryl died for your Dime, sins. Yeah, so yeah, you could be away that long in the ago. coffin draggers. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. So it's uh, perfect. So Dang. so how did you how did you guys like? I mean, you guys were you know guitarless. Uh, did you all do auditions, or you just said, oh? Almost. Oh, no. you know, that kid down the street, let's just grab no, him. Ba well, basically, what it was, I have a recording studio called Funeral Home Studios. Ooh, uh, <laughs> dot com. <laughs> Facebook.com um, slash funeral. <laughs> and Vincent had a all band. Preserved. How old are you? 16? Uh, uh, well, I was... When you had Corpse Candy? Yeah, I think... Cor I was, I think Corpse, Corpse, Corpse Candy? Corpse Candy, I started... That was a band that I started when I was... I was 14 when I started it. How old were you when I recorded you guys? 16. Okay, he was 16 years old. His band came to my studio to record... And that's when I first heard. I knew him before that because I met him. Because where else is Corpse Candy gonna gonna record? Exactly yeah. at Funeral Home Studios. But when I heard him play, I was like, "Oh, dang! When he's older, I'm gonna steal him if I need him for the coffin." <laughs> <laughs> and I'll have him play guitar. Yeah, hey, exactly. Boy. Yeah, play guitar on the side. Uh -huh. You know. So Among were you playing guitar for Corpse Candy, or you were doing something? Yeah, else? no, Corpse Candy was like my thing. I wrote the songs. I played right. guitar, sang. Right. Yeah. What, what's the name of a Corpse Candy song, just so I can kind of... Corpse Candy. There was no, a... no, I understand that's probably a song. <laughs> we, had, we had a song called Teddy Bear, about a killer teddy bear. A killer <laughs> teddy bear. Yeah. Oh, you, you realize Kasha's is not going to be able to snuggle next to her stuffed animals yeah. after, tonight after the show. Hey. You shouldn't come home with us. Then. You should, Corpse oh. Candy. You should have Corpse. a song called Take Off My Rapper. Take Off My Rapper. <laughs> <laughs> no, we had, we, had, uh, like a, we, had, we had a song called Zombalicious. Zombies. Zombies. Yeah, well, I figured as much. Yeah. But uh, so Before your first the gig, zombie craze. Oh yeah, you know you're way ahead of your time. But uh, uh, what, your first gig with the cough, uh, with the coffin draggers. What, what was that? And how was that like? My first like like gig. Oh, horrible grammar. Right. Where was that? And <laughs> how was that like? Uh, it was the the cyclone, the Long Beach cyclone. It was actually really awesome. Right. It was like one of the best shows I've ever played. It was a lot of fun. It's it's good to play with a band who can actually play like together right you know like tight he's not talking about us right, I was gonna, I was gonna say, yeah. <laughs> yeah but i wasn't talking about corpse can i was talking about the coffee yeah, right yeah. Oh, okay yeah no 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 well you, so you're playing with you're, you're cool playing with the older guys because they know what yeah doing. It, it's it's good to play with good musicians right shucks yeah. thanks but yeah. well, you know what happened was gator and i were writing songs for a new album right and uh, i was playing guitar and drums and we Bob on is a very yeah, talented on everything. It, it makes me mad because he's so good at saying he's he's written riffs that I like physically can't play. Oh Shucks. really? Yeah. Shucks. So how do you do um, that live? We don't. I, we didn't do it. We don't. We, do we, we dropped. We actually oh, dropped okay. the song. But so we recorded these songs for uh, our coffin built for two EP, and um, right. we needed some solos because I wasn't that great at soloing. Right. And then Gator's like, "Hey, I'm gonna." Call up Vince, right. the kid from Corpse Candy. So I was like, right on, bring him down. Right. Well, I have a secret story about that. And, oh, uh, divulge oh. the secret, Gator. <laughs> do I know the story? Yeah, you do. You, oh, okay. You were there. Hope he does. It's a Dark Mark show exclusive. Let's hear this, Gator. I was there. No, there was like, one bass I'm off player again. What do I keep in doing? In a world. In a world. Just talk. We can hear you. We can can you hear me? Okay, as long, I'm going to take these off then. Take okay. them yeah, off. I think it's Just go take phones. something else off. Okay. Little... Ooh. Yeah, well, basically, please. we needed a guitar player, and on... All the guys are taking off their clothes, because yeah. it's just like, oh, I'm not taking wow. shit off. No, 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 no. Sort of stuck. Oh, that's so <laughs> so hot. Girls and Girdles, that's Girdles hot. Girls and Girdles. Girls and girdles. That's my next website, Girls and Girdles. Mm. Me and my hot friends and my... Me and my, my hot friends girls. and Girls and Girdles. <laughs> when I was a girdle young, Girls and hot and Corpse Candy. I used to love together. it when my mom's new <laughs> Sears catalog would arrive. Me too. Nothing I would look like at all the tools. The girdle pages. Dang. <laughs> Montgomery Ward, yeah. Sears. Do you remember that? So anyway, remember so, uh, the Zodies <laughs> catalog? And this show is brought to you by every uh, bankrupt department store <laughs> that's ever been. So what's the story? Let's hear the um, story. We needed a guitar player. So right. on this thing called The Secret, the FB thing that I hate but we're all part of, um, I put out an ad. Tell, tell us, what's the FB thing? Facebook. Oh, Facebook. I hate Facebook, but, but unfortunately we all use it. But you contacted me through Facebook. Exactly. So I, I know. I know, but, but I... I Facebook actually hates me. They scold me all the time. What do you do? That's they, what I want to know. They tell me that I request friends of people that I don't know, even though I know them in real life, and then they ban me for a month. 
They well, just don't it, like you. Know, you. Yeah, yeah those people lot. don't like you, and they're yeah. blocking. I know. People, I, just people, I just want you guys to know while you're talking, I'm on Facebook oh. right now. Oh, anyhow, modern <laughs> technology. Back to the story. <laughs> Something um, I know I, about. I put yeah. out an, an announcement saying. Uh, closer to the mic. Okay. Are these on? Oh, Who's they're mic? on again. Okay, this is better. Um, I put out an announcement saying that I need a guitar player to come over to my studio to help me test out new microphones. And I had done it previously. I, I, and... I, I used that and I got jerked off. Oh. Wait, is that on? Oh, I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. Go, ahead. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Microphone. <laughs> yeah. Where's the under table that's, cam now? That's the, oh. that, Actually, Kasha, that's, add, add, this Kasha, is the secret part. Kasha had answered a different Craigslist ad, but let's. Uh, uh, I saw that one. And so anyhow, uh, some a bunch of people <laughs> responded, and I was I was secretly looking for a guitar player for the band, but I didn't want to tell people, hey, Coffin Dragger's looking for a guitar player. Just right. And so I said I used that excuse of testing out microphones. A few people hit me up, and then Vincent's like, hey, I've done that. Before. I had actually had him really do that for one time a long time ago. So he said, hey, I'll come over and do it. And I'm like, all right, cool. So he came over, and then I opened up and told him, I said, you know what? We really need a guitar player for Coffin Dragon. So would you want to do it? He goes, yeah, of course. Yeah. And I was like, okay, um, go learn our songs, or some of our songs, and come back for practice next week. And he's like, I already know your songs. So we got together and practiced the next week, and he nailed every song now, were you like guys as professional? Uh, were you guys as proficient as he was when he was his, was, uh, your instruments as he was when he was your age, when you were his age? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I'm Kasha's actually, distracting. When you were his age, hey. when you were his age, yeah, let me, let me, yeah, when you were his age, were you that person on your right next door? I actually met Gator when I was his age, so. Oh, my goodness. Uh oh. Is you it like a T Rex action? fight? What, what is that? It, is. it sounds like a T Rex. I don't know. What's, I, I think they're doing patty cake. I don't know what's going on there. Uh oh, there you go. There, how do you, how do you Kasha know? and Can you be Papa Dragger's <laughs> patty cake. You were as good as he was when he was. You know what? Jessica's thing was when I met. be Jessica Coffin. Okay. That'll be my... Um... If you keep coughing, get some coughing medicine. Um, I met Down. Gator right. at a show. Gator played in one of the first L.A. Psychobilly bands in the 80s called the Bee Pickles. The Bee Pickles. And the my, Bee -Pickles. Old, my old punk rock ensemble, Our Band Sucks, played a show with them. These are the worst fucking band names I've ever heard. Go ahead. So your band sucks. Our, our, our band sucks. Pickles. Our band sucks played with Bee Pickles. <laughs> right. And Bee that's how babies were born. <laughs> Ah. And, then they, oh. and the next day the universe was made and it was good. Yeah. So <laughs> I met Gator in 88 or 89. Right. And uh, probably this guy's age or younger. And I remember seeing Gator play the You were 16 when I took you to Hollywood. Uh-oh. Oh. Yeah, that's when you picked Whoops. me up from Hollywood. Oh, yeah. <laughs> was that like 60 years ago? <laughs> yeah, like 60 years ago. Oh, yeah. 65. Uh, Gator we needed, I need a guitar player lane. to come over. Yeah. <laughs> Rodney, <laughs> Rodney Bingenheimer was 20 and he was yeah. uh, holding court uh, down at <laughs> the... Uh, Starwood. You see, but, Rodney uh, was a DJ. Rodney. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think of some arcane 70s uh, oh, references. But no, let, let's, let's get back. Speaking going. of it's something that has nothing to do with the 70s, <laughs> Kasha. So, Wait, so, how old is Kasha? Kasha. I'm uh, 24. Oh, that, that's, her, her, that's what Dang. she says. So, yeah, and, literally nothing to do with the 70s at all. Wow. Well, Kasha does not know who Isaac from the Love Boat is, so I sort of nope. believe her when she says he's he was 24. The, he was a bartender on the ship. Right. It, 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 does, ship? does Vincent, do you know the, the Love, love boat? boat? Do you know? What I know what it is. Yeah. Okay, so you've seen the the it. I've never boat. watched it. Now well, you were busy, busy filming Downers Grove. In, in the one. 70s. Right. So I mean, you were, you were, like you were like busy it. making Downers Grove while they were rerunning Love Boats, apparently. So The Love Boat would do You were also on a show. Oh, now. Remember the guy like did that? Yeah, anyway. I don't watch TV. Yeah, really, you shouldn't. No. Yeah, there's a lot of other things I'm to too, do. Yeah, I'm too busy creating for myself. So. That's good. I don't want to watch so, other so what, crap. So what's what's the what's the uh, first off? You were in a movie called Cleavage. Dang. Was I? Oh, my yeah, favorite I movie. Yeah. Tell me about Cleavage because that, 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 right that, in the middle. I, I went oh, on your IMDb page. Like, and I was very I was interested. <laughs> that one was oh my god that was so long ago. Um, it was like a it was an indie film about um, Cleavage. Yeah, pretty much. It was kind of like about guys' responses to. Even. Boobs, basically. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was just a really short. It was. Um, it wasn't a documentary. It was scripted. I barely remember. And you, and you moved. You moved to. Uh, you moved to LA when you were seventeen. Yeah, I did. Where did you I, move from? Uh, San Francisco. I took off. I graduated when I was seventeen, and I was like, "You guys, I'm going to LA." I saved up all the money I ever got for my birthdays, Christmas, whatever, for my family, and um, I came out here and <laughs> with a salvage '99 Corolla with an Earl Scheib paint job because I couldn't stand the fact that it was like Earl Scheib. You know, you know, so, you know Sasha cars. Gray was here last month. She had the oh, exact Sasha. same. She had the exact same story. Yeah, same car. Too. Maybe, maybe I have no, no, Sasha she, Gray. She had a, she had a, she had a, you all, but she moved from. She, so it's, it, she was very nice. Don't, don't. Talk no, about I love her. her. Okay. No, 
That's like mm-hmm. what she does. No, That's I, her I, thing. Yeah, I never, I've never, I haven't watched any of her carnival have. movies. I'm sure you have. No, that wasn't, that wasn't like a dig against her at all. Right. Sasha, I love you. You're great. Right. So, so but she, I came, stumble across those things accidentally when she, when she, when she, when she was 18. She, she, she took a U-Haul <laughs> from, from the Bay Area down here. Oh, she is from up there, isn't she? Yes, yeah, she is. That's awesome. Yeah, no, I've, I have a lot of respect for her. She's gotten a lot of mainstream jobs from what she did, and she um, actually was acting, and I thought that was really, really cool of her. So, uh, and uh, you say on your website, uh, meandmyhotfriends.com, I want to be able to look at a photo I took, because you are a photographer, mm-hmm. and immediately be able to tell something about the person in the photo, even if they have never met. Yeah. Now, the photo with you with the dirty feet reading the Satanic Bible, what what, yeah. what does that tell us about you? Um, that hmm. tells Because I almost you... posted that one. I, I didn't. I should have. Are you looking that up, Bob? Yeah. That's on me and my hot friends. Co. Not com. Co. Yeah. Dot co. It's the really cool new techie uh, domain name, aka again, Mark. Is Good it old a, Mark is in it Miami? What is it? Me? Gem name. Co. Gem. Uh, okay. So what does that? What does that say? Me and my uh, hot friends. Co. <laughs> that said yeah. that the I. The dirty feet. The dirty feet in the Satanic Bible. I had a very, very brief lapse in judgment, and um, I thought that Didn't I was going to move to New York, and instead decided on, I, I that I wasn't right really here. into it. Yeah. Show it. Show the feet. No, it's not really uh, the, the, I would the never show my the, feet. I hate toes and I hate feet. Really? You're not I into do. feet? I do. I'm not into feet at You're not all. I'm getting really weird. That's an amazing oh, wait, feet. Here we go. You don't like oh, little hold feet? Hold on. Here, here we go. Here, check that out. That's oh, hot. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, you're a beautiful woman. I mean, it's just... Well, thank you. Uh, thank yeah. you. There's nothing wrong with that photo. What, what's wrong with it? I didn't say it was wrong. I said, I, I asked what, what it says about you. What it says about me is that I should get in a bathtub once in a while. Talk about... You don't wear shoes. What's going on with that hygiene... Maybe it means that my mom should clean her floors in her goddamn house sometime. Hey. I was I was at my mom's house. No, I'm just kidding. They're very clean. It's just me that's a filthy pig. Totally kidding, guys. So it's so, totally fine. You I'm know. an angel. So you, you you went from San Francisco to Los Angeles, and you are a valley-hating girl with a valley girl accent. I'm just I'm a little traumatized. Um, and we all live the in valley. the valley. Do you? What part yes. of the valley? Don't say that. The good part. What? Yeah. You know where the guy was just with the AK-47? Oh, no. on the oh. roof. Yeah, that's yeah, down yeah, the street yeah. from us. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's no, right, right around. Like arts- We're right there. Actually, they found a like dead girl area. in a trunk on my street. That's where the California Institute of Abnormal Arts okay. is. Oh, okay, okay. Right in the arts district of NoHo. Okay, I actually, I like that area. And I like um, I like Studio City. I actually kind of wanted to move to Studio City. And yes. then I realized it was part of the valley. And I was like, oh, no. Um, but the I love Studio City. I love Studio City. I feel like it's very professional and classy, which I'm not, but... Um, I'll try to be. Yeah, that's why we we won't let you in yet. But yeah, uh, you gotta, exactly. If you, go, if you go to the CIA, we'll uh, we'll yeah. yeah we'll I see. do. I want to check this place out. It sounds awesome. No, no, yeah, we'll, we'll go tomorrow. Should... We'll check out the comedy. It'll be fun. Yeah, you can check yeah. out the band playing. Can I bring too. my mom? Yeah. There's yeah. lots of good yeah. bands playing tomorrow night. No. There are. Uh, so, yeah. but anyway, so what's what's next for you? I mean, uh, what's next? Um, yeah. I actually I just produced a pilot comedy TV show for NBC, which is really awesome. Um, hopefully, I mean, if that gets picked up, that would be amazing. Right. Um, I am actually well, working. Tell us about that. Is there anything you could say, or um, you're not as I mean, it's it's a comedy. Um, it's about a couple people who are, they're not college age, which I think is cool. It's an interesting um, demographic. Uh, it's really, really funny. It's what, really awesome. What are they, awesome. in elementary school? What, what um, age are they? No, no, no. They're, they're, they're like working, they're professionals. Um, it's ben older Glebe guys in a band. is one of the stars. He's <laughs> really is? awesome. Ben Glebe, you might recognize him from um, Chelsea Handler. He actually has his own right. show coming out August, I believe, 12th on the game. I'm, look, I'm plugging him. Um, I'm like, you didn't even follow me I'm, on Instagram, but I'm yeah, plugging uh, you. Uh, um, <laughs> but did you write this awesome. pilot? Did you no, the I, what is I your produced involvement? it. I produced it. Produced um, it. David Shapiro, he's awesome. He's a TV producer. He actually wrote it, and he gave me the job of producing it so he could focus on on directing and writing okay. it. So that was really, really awesome. And then I'm actually working on um, getting my show, which would be uh, basically a guest-driven talk show. Um, and I want to either, I mean, ultimately, I would love to have it on TV, but um, I'm working on pitching it to a bunch of different networks right now. And uh, right. it's going to be like a very open-minded kind of like, Comedy based but sex relationship kind of thing. So um yeah. And it's gonna yeah, be like I, a very I, bo- I, I, body I, I, positive, very like female positive, like just really cool, kind of different thing. And that's yeah. that's like my main that's what I've wanted to do for my whole life. And um right now it's actually happening and I'm really, really excited good about for you, that. Good so. for you, yeah. yeah. I, I mean the, the, that's I was, like gonna, I was gonna say comedy with sex and uh, all sorts of weird people and exactly. body conscious. The Dark March show sort of like that. Uh, yeah. Hot girls, yeah, Lots we have that. Yeah, we, we like sex. Yeah. So, uh, so uh, speaking of sex, so uh, the rockabilly girls, rockabilly groupies, mm. oh, gosh. different from other groupies. Come on, you got to tell us. We got to hear mm. about the rockabilly groupies. You uh, know stories, Robert. It, you know what's uh, interesting is these groupie girls, the fans. They're very genuine. They're very cool. They come up to us. They tell us how much they love us. They're not like slutty. 
groupies, you know. They so, tell you that? Yeah. <laughs> Except for that young girl and, uh, in the Key Club parking lot. Well, what was... <laughs> oh, hello. Hey, was, hello. What, what happened in the Key Club oh. parking lot, uh, Gator? I was in the Key Club parking lot one time. We used to play the Key Club just about every month, years right. and years ago. I remember, yeah. Yeah. Once, um, once again, another, another like defunct organization that we're talking about. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. See, I think we now? closed everything down. No, yeah, they closed. They closed last year, yeah. Everywhere we used to play closed down after we what? were there. Actually, I did, I did, I did a show there. Yeah. Here. I did a show there at the Sunset Strip <laughs> Strip Music, uh, Music Festival a couple of years ago, and then, yeah, oh. it, like, next year they... Canceled. Yeah, it's crazy. That, sucks. I, that was a good place. I did a benefit for the West Memphis Free. They're free. Key oh, Club's closed. we played that show. Wait, was that the one with Gloom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah we played the same show. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I forgot. It's all coming back to us. Yeah. So tell right. us about Whoa. the. Is this the <laughs> okay. night? Was that the night you had the groupie at the Key Club? No, I think it was another night. But but okay. yeah, there, there was. I was out in the parking lot loading all the gear into the hearse, and Aww. I was. They have my, a hearse. That's awesome. It's a '69 Cadillac. Yes. Hearse. Hello. Oh. Ride in that yep. hearse. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. That's right. We'll we'll right. Can we get a shoot? Can I bring some babes into the, your hearse? The hearse is Let's not, do it. If the hearse it. is rocking, don't bother knocking. Oh. That almost yeah. sounds like our new song. Yeah. That's hot. I think that's good. So go ahead. So okay. Let's hear the story. Okay, I was out, out in the parking lot loading the car. And my girlfriend was standing next to me, and this very young girl came up. She was probably like 14. Well, that's horrible. I know. It was awful. And she just flat out, she looked at me and just flat out said, can I suck your dick? And, and that's I'm a like, yes or no question. I'm and, like, uh, um, and her friends are like, no, seriously, she wants to give you a blowjob. She really wants to suck your dick. It's the upright bass, isn't it? They I think that so. It is so yeah, that they can't do it. Wanted, it she wanted his upright uh, organ. Am I allowed to say dick? So we you say whatever you want. We guy's for, name, you know. Well, have we not sworn on the show? We, we encourage profanity. Go ahead. Oh, I was wondering about that. I've had it the filter on this whole time. I know. We got seven minutes and 32 seconds to dang curse like a fucking maniac. Go ahead. Gosh darn it. Fuck yes. Fudge. Okay. Oh, wait, turn those freaking around. Right. Darn. Wait, why didn't you ask her to have a threesome with your wife? Your girlfriend. My girlfriend. Your girlfriend. Sorry, don't want to The 14 year old, um, uh, why I, didn't you I, ask I, her why? She wanted to go to jail. Yeah, both of you would go to jail. I'm already uncomfortable with this. Right. <laughs> if There's she a, was 14, legal. Huh? She was probably like 18. I mean, she was out of the house, right? Yeah. That's there was an no, no, first off, they, if they say they're 14, they're really nine. That's yeah. true, too. Yeah, that's true. You that's remember true. when you were 14? Yeah. You were a wild child, I bet. Was that you? Yeah, that was, was like two very, years ago, right? You were on Hate, you were on hate Ashbury. Who knows what was yeah, going on there? I was, I was crazy. I, I wore a Catholic schoolgirl uniform oh, to high God. school every day. And, and did, did the Catholic schoolgirl uniforms pop because of your massive breasts uh, back then? Um, No, but I did hike it up like all the way up, and uh, I got in trouble a lot because and, of that. Yeah, we'll get back to the groupie story. When no, did no, you really start developing? When did you really start developing? When did you start developing those massive breasts? When I was 12. I was really by, by the way, those, those, I was like 16. Those are double Ds, right? And a half. Bigger, probably. I was like 16 and a half, yeah. so ladies out there, if you're young and you don't have them yet, there's still, there still might be time. That's a bro- Wait, oh, they, they, they didn't bloom until you were 18? Minutes. No, I was really, I was young, <laughs> dorky, underdeveloped, all that. I was really, really skinny for the first couple of years of high school, and then all of a sudden I got my braces off, and... These just wouldn't stop going, and I don't think they well, have. Is, is that going when you got yet. the grill put in? Is that what? Uh, yeah, I was. I was about four and a half when I got the grill put in. Right, and then the braces were over. Then yeah, uh, yeah. it was. Well, like I was gonna say you, you took the braces out, put the grill in. Yeah. then the breast appeared. Exactly. I mean, you know, maybe it's just the magic <laughs> of gold teeth. Right. Yeah. So, so let's tell us about the groupie story, Gator. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still thinking about Catholic school uniforms. Sorry. Hmm. Next time, on next time you come on, Kaja, please. Where, yeah. Go ahead, so. It definitely does not fit anymore. I could probably fit it over one leg. Right. So, <laughs> so, a 14 year old wants to have a have a threesome with you and your girlfriend. Kasha I, says, "Why don't you say yes?" She wants to suck your dick. If she was 18 and older, things would be different. So she would definitely was 14. Be, and she would, would your looked, girlfriend been, been up for that? I can't say that. <laughs> That's a yes. I hope so. Uh, Vincent, what, what is your wildest so rockabilly groupie story? I got to hear this. I don't have any. <laughs> okay. I, I have no, I, Robert, tomorrow you have some. Uh, Robert, you have one. I, I, I don't have any as, you know, juicy. Come on, well, please. We, 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 you can talk about of age girls. It's okay. Um, I don't really... Uh, oh, you know. I, I There's something coming to mind. Okay. Um, I love, don't say the word come. I love the, the one show... Gator and I, and this is with our old guitar player, Jose right. Asleepy. Yeah, all their great stories. Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, before you, you join the band, stories. now it's, uh, yeah. We, uh, Gator and I go back after the show. It's literally four in the morning. Sun's coming up. We go back to the room because we're freaking <laughs> oh, dead. We don't know where this guy goes, the guitar <laughs> player. I'm brushing my teeth in the hotel room. That's always nice. And, uh, you know, where the sink on the fancy hotels is right by the front door. Right, right, right. So I hear a knock on the door. 
and I'm brushing my teeth. I open the door, and it's our guitar player, Jose, with two groupies, and he has a pizza. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> down. Pizza? Wait. And, uh, and he had Gator a and I were like, whoa, we want the pizza. <laughs> and, and that guy's no longer in the band? <laughs> <laughs> Two girls on pizza? They probably he be in the they band for life. I'm sorry, yeah. Richard, but you know what I'm talking about. They probably they ate some of the pizza. Yeah. I can, I can so agree. Dude, I'm sure he ate some of the if, pizza. If, no, I'm saying, if you bring girls same, and they eat some of the pizza. Same show. The, uh, a young lady, a groupie, w wanted to get on the bus or the, the van with us right. to go back to our room with us. So I was right. like, okay, yeah, let's go. So she jumps on. We get to the hotel, we just leave her in the lobby, and we go upstairs. <laughs> Wait, you guys are really lame for a band, dude. What happened with the pizza? Okay, the, 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 let's, hear about, let's hear about Kasha's groupies. That's the extent of our groupie stories. I've got, no, I, no, no, I, 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 know what you, I know what you're thinking. Yeah, no, I saw. And right. time. No, no, it's not time, no. But I have oh. one, one more thing. What? Because I know you have, uh, there's a story, and I want you I want you all to come back, because you all are great. I told you, it goes by really qu quick. On Model Mayhem... There is a post where a guy says, I think you're beautiful. I'm six foot six. I used to play pro basketball and I want to go out with you. Did you go out with that guy? Wait, what? Go on your Model Mayhem account. I don't use that. No, if you, th this guy went on her Model Mayhem and said, I'm six foot six. I'm muscular. I used to play pro basketball. If you're I'm six an actor. I used to play pro basketball. Well, what are you doing on Model Mayhem? Hold on. A model Mayhem. Exactly. Exactly. I lied. That's, I'm what, not that's what I was wondering here. Yeah. I'm going to go I mean, Let me look that up verbatim. Six but six before, six. I, before I before I do, uh, Coffin Drivers, yeah. tell us about what you guys got going on and uh, tell us about your show tomorrow night and uh, any new um, uh, stuff that you have. Well. We got a show tomorrow night in, uh, is that North Hollywood or Burbank at the city? Yeah, it's, it's North, North Hollywood. Hollywood. It's on Burbank. It's off a section of, of the valley Come on safe. down. Uh, we're working on a new album. It's a compilation of our EPs and singles that we have done with Vincent in the last two years. And then there's some new material up on that. I think like three songs or something. Three or four. Three or four. We three, were working on four. those yesterday. Oh, so. it's for the five. So it's going to be a full Two. length with new and old it should be out soon and soon how what were we talking about time frame well i want to get it out before Tomorrow. the end of tonight oh, okay yeah. i want to get it out before the end of july so we and, can, uh here we go july. uh so, july. so so how do people get a hold of the coffin dragons they want to get a hold of them and you're not the coffin the draggers, you're just, it's just coffin coffin draggers. Draggers. Coffin coffin draggers. draggers. coffin draggers by the coffin or coffin draggers on facebook yeah, we have yeah. two Facebook pages. One that's just like a personal one that I started years ago that or, uh, I actually take care of. Smoke and signal. We, yeah. And then we have the Coffin Draggers official page. That yeah, which we, we can all admin of. and get messages. Right. And, and I'm almost here. Okay. Uh, I want to see the six foot six guy. I was browsing. Uh, vibrating. 228, 2012. I was browsing through here and I really liked your portfolio. I make it to LA a couple times a year. So I was curious if you have any interest in doing a shoot together when I'm in town. I'm 6'6", a firefighter. Used to play pro basketball. I think he says Short he's 66. Version. I think you're flat out gorgeous, and I think we could create some stunning photos. I think he's gay. If you're up to for it, shoot me a message. We'll figure it out. Well, anyway, for, for those of us that are not, idea. for those of us who are not gay, such as myself and, the, and not mm. the coffin dragons, coffin dragons, coffin dragons. Coffin. Just tell, coffin. tell us what you got. Tell us what you got going on, Kasha. How do we get a hold of you? Oh, yeah, you what's going oh, on in the uh, world yeah, of I mean, Kasha? Um, Instagram's always great. Me and my hot friends won. Again, I think Mark has me and my hot friends. I don't know. Uh, me and my hot friends with the number well, one. Trust me, I've, I've added you on all sorts of social media. I'm not going <laughs> to oh, miss man. a shot. <laughs> um, you can add my, uh, I have a fan Not Friendster yet, silly. but yeah. Spank, me and my hot friends with Facebook. I went back and did your MySpace. Don't worry about it. I'm sure you did. Yeah. And then Twitter, Kasha Cupcake. Kasha spelled K-A-S-I-A because I don't expect many of you to be Polish and know that name. And why are you nicknamed Poodle? Um, because I'm fancy and I I like to be dressed up, kind of like a uh, pink silly poodle with a haircut. I don't know. My my biology teacher when I was 16 used to call me that. Is that weird? Well, my, uh, my biology teacher called uh, me poodle too. Apparently, Rockabilly Night became what pedophilia kind of night. Did you get? Go to gothcomedian.com for all your goth comedian needs. Here's some more coffin dragons to uh, right. take you out. Have a wonderfully yeah. creepy week. Thank, Thanks, thank you. We have some presents. Bye -bye. <laughs> Got you, dude.